So what I've done is I started my design by creating the turquoise line. I took the brush, ran it across. I did it a couple of times to get the color the way I want it. And then maybe before I clean off my turquoise, there might be another line. Maybe it runs over here and it goes like this. And again, it may be thick here, thin there, but at least now I know where I'm going. So I'm just going to go over the line just to get the color where I want. But I'm just going to stay within the guide that I've already created. You can do this as many times as you need to. Sometimes I even like to do it, let the paint dry, and then go back over it. But in this case, we're just trying to establish a decorative line. There. That's good enough. Cleaning off my brush. Gonna wipe it on a paper towel. Let's go to another color. This time, let's take some yellow. For this yellow, I'm just gonna go right straight across like that. Now I'm gonna make this line really fast. So first I'm gonna establish it and say, there's my line. Now I'm going to fill it in. See? I'm going to come back and decorate that a little bit more later. But for right now, that's good. You know what? Let's take some of that same yellow. I'm going to put a little bit at the top. Make a line straight across at the top. And maybe at the bottom. Let's make this one a little bit thicker. There. So let's just recap. We have our yellow. We have our turquoise. Now let's decorate a little bit. Clean off the brush. And now let's establish. Maybe we'll take some purple. We'll make a circle right here, just like that, and maybe there's another circle, maybe there's two, maybe there's one on this side, and there's one on this side. I'm going to make it too thick. There. There. That's pretty cool. Now let's take the thin side and maybe draw a skinny line that goes straight across here. And maybe there's another skinny line that goes straight across here. That looks pretty good to me. Well, there's the decoration of my egg. The background is still white. I have yellow top, turquoise circle, I mean purple circle, turquoise wiggly line, purple straight line, nice thick yellow line, another purple line, turquoise, two dots of purple, and yellow. I'm gonna let this set up for a few minutes. I'm just gonna clean off my brush. Now, without letting this dry too much, I'm going to start my background. I purposely chose to leave the background white because now I'm going to turn all of that into pink. And then I'm going to go back over some of these lines and my egg will be decorated. So starting here at the top, I'm just going to very carefully lay some pink. Not trying to paint over what I created. So I'm just painting into the white spots, around the purple, above the turquoise. I'm trying not to let it sit too long. So I don't want to form any hard lines. So I'm just going to very quickly lay in the color. There. That's good. 
And we're going to go back over this in a little while. But for right now, I just want to pretty much establish where my pink is going to be. So I'm just going to very carefully there. There you go. I can smooth all of this out just a tad. And like I said, I'm going to come back. And go over those colors to rich them up. But right now I'm just laying them in. Here too, I'm just going to work some of that color. Right around the other colors. Because the pink is going to be the background of my egg. So this is coming out nice. Taking my time. And remember, when you're decorating your egg, you should be decorating your egg your way. I'm just showing you how to lay in some of the design patterns first, whichever you choose to make, and then how to come back and lay in the background. See? Because if I would have laid this pink in first, yellow wouldn't even show up. The turquoise might turn more green. There's a little bit of a white line here, so I'm just going to very carefully just paint right over that. You see how I'm just going around the colors? I'm going to come back to this one in a second. I just want you to see how to quickly block in, going around your shapes, how to block in the color that's your background. Even if you chose to paint this very same design, I'd recommend you use different colors. And if you choose to use these colors, by all means. By all means. Just going to soften this up. See how I'm very carefully not trying to lift too much of that purple away. There you go. Just going to softly go around here a little bit. We straighten that out with some purple later. Now I'm going to go into that area that's a little tight. So I'm going to start here where it's really easy. Get that in first. That's fine. And then I'm going to go right here. Let me rest my hand a little bit and just go right into this area. There. There you go. That's my basic decoration. Now, it doesn't look like much right now, but it will in a few moments. Now, I want to give this a few minutes to dry because, as you notice, I picked up a little color. And normally, I would have waited a lot longer, but I wanted to paint this for you in real time so that you wouldn't have to guess what I was doing behind the scenes. But I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna pause this. It's not gonna look like it to you. Just to let this dry, I'm not gonna to touch or change anything. I'm simply gonna allow the painting to dry before I continue. So now let's add a second coat. Painting should be a little drier now. I'm still just going to take my time. I'm going to start here at the top. See if I can't enrich the color a little bit. This is a very, very fun project. Very easy. And you can be as creative as you want to be. I'm going to come back in the end and do the first parts. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger purple to cover up some of those blemishes. I'm just going to very quickly, without too much more conversation, just finish blocking in the egg. Give it a little bit more value. Just going to keep dipping, keep moving. Underneath. You could paint this over and over and over. You could spend weeks, months, even years painting a picture. We're going to quickly just get this in so we can peel it off and see what we have. See what lies underneath. 
mean, we kind of get the idea, but it's nothing like seeing the whole thing finished. There, that's nice and rich. See the difference between the top and the bottom? See how much richer it's beginning to look? We're just going to add the second coat to all of the colors. There. Coming down to the end. Pink is very, very transparent. You could even do a third or fourth coat. If you have time, just keep layering till you feel satisfied. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm only going to go over a second coat on all of them. And then we're going to peel off and see what we have. There. Maybe I'll make this purple dot a little bit bigger. Okay, cleaning off the brush, ringing the bell, wiping it on a paper towel. Let's start with the turquoise. Just gonna go over the turquoise one more time. Gonna drive straight across. There you go. Straight across. Turquoise again. Get this one over here. There, that looks pretty good. Clean off the brush. I'm gonna go with the yellow again. We'll save the purple for last. Touch it to some yellow. Just gonna go straight across. There. A little bit more yellow. Going straight across here. There. Last piece at the bottom. Going to some yellow. There. Cleaning off the brush. And last but not least, let's put some purple. This time I'm going to start with the two lines. There. A little bit more purple again. Going straight across this line. There. Some purple. Going to go in here and just make a nice dark purple dot that's good for that one come here and go over here that's nice and dark for this one go over here that's nice and dark for that one and now easter egg is decorated now again you could take this and see things like you could wiggle lines in the yellow you could dot the yellow you could make some straight lines in the yellow you could come and slash this with white. You could put little white dots in the turquoise. The possibilities are literally endless. But for purposes of the demonstration, I just wanted to show you how if you put your designs on first, then paint your background, you could end up with a pretty decent little egg. So now let's close this out. Picking up our spatula, grab a corner, Lifting the peel off to reveal our finished egg. Ta-da! There you go. Now, everyone's been given a little black. So for those of you who want to stick to the details of it all, you could always paint around the edges here if you felt some of the color seeped out or if there's color around the edges because the paper didn't go end to end. Just use the black to touch that up. And I'm sure you'll notice that in the end, you'll have yourself a very decent project. You could still write something here. You could write Happy Easter. You could write J. Robinson Art. You could write Peel Off. You could write anything that you want. You can still decorate on this egg. I just wouldn't get too much, too close to the edges because you destroy the shape. But again, you could always put black 
right around the edges or any color that seeps over and it'll bring it right back. Well, that's the end of this demonstration. I hope you had fun. Be creative, explore it. Let's see what you can do. It would be nice if after you painted your egg, you kind of shot me a, a copy so I can see how creative you were with the egg. We might even consider having a contest somewhere down the road. But for right now, what I want you to do is have some fun, push around a few colors, and be creative. Well, thank you for painting with me. I look forward to painting with you guys again. Take care until the next time. Bye-bye.